Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lewis and I'm the history leader at Little Pandan School and I'm here to tell you all about how we teach history at Little Pandan. The aims of teaching history at Little Pandan are to encourage the children's curiosity about understanding of the real life of people who lived in the past, also to understand, appreciate and enjoy the multicultural mm -hmm. world we live in and celebrate its rich diversity. So the aims of teaching history at Little Pandan is to make to encourage children to develop their curiosity and understanding about the lives of people who lived in the past and to celebrate their multicultural world that we now live in. So we want to make sure that the information, the facts that we're teaching children is relevant to Harlow and the what the children are experiencing. But to also use first hand experiences and to use other subjects to enrich the history lessons that we are teaching, as well as building upon the content of the national curriculum. So history begins in the foundation stage and is taught under the umbrella of understanding of the world from the earliest foundation stage, which encompasses people and communities, the world, as well as technology. The children are supported in developing the knowledge, skills and understanding that helps them to make sense of the world. The pupils are encouraged to talk about their families and past and present events in their lives. And we try to do this through a range of mediums, including the use of photographs, listening to stories, the use of role play and the use of sequencing events to gain a sense of what time is. This then further develops into Key Stage 1. So the National Curriculum Programme of Study at Key Stage 1 focuses on developing children's awareness of the past using common words and phrases relating to the passing of time. They should know where the people and events they study fit within a chronological framework and identify similarities and differences between ways of life in different periods. Children should use a wide range of vocabulary every day for everyday historical terms. They should ask and answer questions, choosing and using parts of stories and other sources to show that they know and understand key features of events. They should understand some of the ways in which we find out about the past and identify different ways in which it is represented. So we look at change within the living memory. So we've got an example here of the Great Fire of London. And we try to do that through first hand experiences, trying to reenact things and using the importance of talk um, for our learning as well. This then further develops in Key Stage 2, where we should continue to allow children to develop a chronologically secure knowledge and understanding of the British, local and world history, establishing clear narratives within and across the periods they study. They should note connections, contrasts and trends over time and develop the appropriate use of historical terms. They should regularly address and sometimes devise historically valid questions about change, cause, similarity and difference and significance. Children should construct informed responses that involve thoughtful selection and organisation of relevant historical information. They should understand how our knowledge of the past is constructed from a range of sources. So it's really important that we're not just teaching the understanding of different facts of what happened, but they're beginning to use that historical inquiry skills of which sources are more valid, which ones are more reliable, and the different ways that we've gained the information about things that have happened in the past, as well as just knowing what has happened being able to have those inquiry skills to then apply those skills to other areas of historical knowledge. So this is Little Partners curriculum overview. So we make sure that the knowledge that we're teaching is not repeated. So they gain a wide understanding of differences of history. And you can see that it relates back to the child. So we've got lots of topics that link to Harlow and then lots of things that link to the UK and English historical English history to make sure that it's relevant to the things that affects them and that we can explain the changes of the way that we live um, using our historical inquiry. Alongside teaching those set history lessons, it's really important that at Little Pandan we promote cross-curricular links. So a lot of our history topics might be, have become hooks to use for our writing to engage them and create a purpose for writing, or it might be used for PSHE to look at the way that families might have changed within history or DT to create something um, from a historical time period using the resources that might have been available there to make sure that they're really immersed within the learning opportunities and they're taking part of historical inquiry using a range of different types of teaching to support a range of children. Um, we have a progression of skills. So each year group will have a map which uses the skills, knowledge, historical inquiry and vocabulary to ensure that each year group is developing their understanding of history and not just developing a wider range of facts that they're able to retell, that they're able to understand more and connect parts of history together using a continuing developing vocabulary and their own idea of historical inquiry and how they could apply that to their next historical topic. 
Teacher assessment is carried out by teacher judgments by the use of discussion, observations, presentations and the children's responses to questions and by looking at the outcomes of the activities set. Work is evidenced in history books but may, but may also be evident within other subjects such as when reading about the Romans and using their comprehension skills to show that they've understood some of those key facts. We also ensure that we give feedback to pupils for using our marking policy and discussion should be provided on their attainment against history objectives alongside literacy skills. Children are encouraged to improve their own learning and performance through our school marking policy. We also moderate our judgments which are recorded in the target tracker so that we can then make sure that our expectations are the same across the school and within each year group. And that is history at Little Palmden. Thank you!